What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, shout out to you. Thanks for tuning into yet another video. And if you're new here, welcome. Please get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the uploads. So I know I haven't been posting a lot of crazy cart content lately. And that's basically because Melanie's crazy cart down here actually broke down so we stopped riding them for a little bit i have the parts to fix it now so we're gonna go ahead and do that today we're also gonna be upgrading it which is always fun and i have a lot of other upgrades that aren't like performance upgrades but upgrades nonetheless for this one and mine but We'll get to mine later, but for now, let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Basically what happened was the battery just died on this, so I got this brand new 36 volt battery. This is actually a hoverboard battery. It fits in here so nicely, and I'm pretty sure I can fit two of them in here, which is gonna be the plan. I just bought one because I didn't know how it was gonna fit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about these batteries. So we have two of the 36 volt batteries in this crazy cart. So I think the end goal for this cart is to have the same setup, two of the batteries, but honestly, ever since doing that one, the prices of these batteries have more than doubled. Like we got those for, I think 25 a pop. I got this one for, I think $57. I don't remember, but I know it was a lot. So I don't know, maybe if the prices do dip again, I will definitely buy another one for this one. I'll buy two for that other cart. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and leave this one on here, see how it performs. Hopefully it doesn't die too quick. But basically, after putting the 36 volt battery in, I think I fried the controller because it only runs for about 10 seconds at a time and then it dies. So kind of crazy, but like I said, it runs and then it dies and all you have to do is flip the switch again so it'll be on, it'll run and it'll die. So you just gotta turn it on. I mean off and then on again, and you're good to go for another 10 seconds. So to fix that, I got this 24 to 36 volt controller. It's an overvolt controller from Fast Scooters out in Sarasota, Florida. If you guys need one of these, I will put the link in the description and you can order these off of eBay as well as the batteries. I'll leave a link to those as well. So we're gonna go ahead and swap this out and hopefully everything works. So I took the covers off, they go basically a bunch of screws all the way around on both sides and they just pop off and i was gonna start putting the new controller in but then i remembered i haven't shown you guys what exactly is happening so i even got it unbolted but i zip tied it on for now because it's way easier than trying to line this dang thing up so let's go for a test drive so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and press the gas and see how far we get And it died press the gas nothing so we're gonna go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on and then gas and we're good to go oh and it died almost instantly let's try again gas oh died instantly gas gas so it's not lasting at all anymore. Just the first time it lasted about, what, like seven seconds. So let's take it inside and swap this controller. Gonna start by cutting this zip tie. And here is our normal controller. So basically what we have to do is unhook everything and then hook everything from here onto that. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We got everything unhooked. This is our old controller and this is our new one. The only difference I see right now is that this plug right here that goes to the charging port, it gets the ground from inside the controller, but it gets power from the battery uh, connector. Whereas this one gets the ground and power from inside the controller. So what I think I'm gonna do is on this one, we put the XT60 connector straight to the battery. But I think what we're gonna do is I have the old battery here. We're gonna put the old plug from the stock battery into 
or swap it over and put it onto this battery so that we can just plug everything up and everything should be plug and play. So I got the old connector here. I probably should have left a little more on, but I think this should do. And I peeled back the shrink wrap on this. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this and make sure we do it one by one because sparks will go flying if you do them together. Ask me how I know. And now we are going to peel this back just a little bit more so that we can put a connector here and this right here will be good to go. I got one of them peeled back. We're gonna go ahead and do them one at a time. That way nothing touches. We're gonna go ahead and use our connectors here. I love these things. These things, basically just put them on and you don't have to crimp anything because it has some solder right here. So you literally put it on and you hit it with some heat. It's basically like a, like a heat shrink. And these blue things here are to keep any moisture out of the connection. The solder right here melts and it makes a solid connection. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on this first and heat it up and then we'll put the connector on. So I like putting it on here first like this. Make sure that your wires are where the solder is. So I'm gonna go like that and I'm gonna heat up just the tip of it here just to hold it in place. I'm not gonna heat up the solder part. So I'm just gonna heat this up real quick and then we will put our connector in and it should be good to go. So now that we got our battery connector put on, we can go ahead and start hooking everything up. The cool thing about these is that they come marked already. So this says direct to battery. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this one into the battery. This one right here says it's for the charging port. So we're gonna go ahead and hook that one up to here. This one says it's for the pedal. So we're gonna hook it up to our pedal over here. And then these two up here just go right up here where the other ones came from. So we got everything hooked up. This controller actually brings an extra plug and it says tail light option. So I'm guessing it has its own power and ground and when you connect it, you can run some lights. I do plan on doing some lights on this crazy cart but I'm gonna run it off of a separate battery. But I think I have an idea of something else that I can wire to this, which should hopefully happen very soon. Like I said, I have the stuff. So I think once I know that everything is good and running as it should, then I think I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay tuned for that. But yeah, I have it zip tied on here right now. I don't know how I'm gonna mount it because the mounting points are different. I think I'm just gonna end up leaving it zip tied for now. Obviously not like this, this is just to test drive it real quick, but let's take it on a test drive and see if it'll run for longer than seven seconds. This cart is so uncomfortable for adults to drive because I have the custom bracket that I made for Melanie's car seat. So it's up higher, almost like two inches and forward almost another two inches. So it's very uncomfortable, but let's go ahead and hit the on button. And let's go for a drive. You guys hear that noise? 
I don't know if that's the motor not wanting to go anymore or what but I'm gonna go ahead and charge the battery and make sure that's not the issue because I don't know when the last time the battery was charged so we'll get back to you guys when the battery is charged and we can have Melanie hop on and take it on a test drive all right so it's been about an hour hour and 20 maybe since I put it to charge so not a whole lot of time but I think it should be enough to see if the motor is fried or if it's good to go so we're gonna get Melanie on the crazy cart and she can take it out for a test drive and see if it's good all right Melanie get on hopefully it's good Where's it on? no turn it on It won't go. Press it. <sighs> okay, so now it's not doing anything. I don't know if maybe it's the uh, pedal itself that went bad. I don't think it did. What I'm gonna do is swap pedals from one cart to the other. See if that helps. If it does, then I know I need a new pedal. But I just put 12 volts directly to the motor and the car starts moving. So I'm guessing maybe the uh, motor doesn't like the whole 36 volts going to it. Uh, I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm going to swap the pedals. If that doesn't fix it, I think it's the motor that just doesn't like it. All right, guys. So it has been quite a few days like i think we're getting close to two weeks now i just dropped this little project and i picked it back up today and after doing just a little bit of diagnosing turns out the battery the controller the pedal the motor everything is good the problem was the battery was dead and obviously the charger for this car and i completely forgot about it is for 24 volts which is what this car brings so what I did was I plugged it into an XL that we have right there and I plugged in the charger and it charged it up. I only left it charging for about 20 minutes, maybe 30, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now and show you guys that it works. And by the way, in that time where I wasn't filming, we picked ourselves up another crazy cart. This is the normal one, the 24 volt one. So what's going on with that is that it needs a tire, which is super cheap and it needs a battery as well so we're gonna go ahead and do some like crazy custom stuff with this cart because we actually got it for free so we're gonna go crazy with this one another little thing that it's missing is the bolt here and that shouldn't be a problem to get either so I'm not too worried about that but it came with the charger it came with it like it's literally complete so for now we're gonna throw the battery in we're not gonna throw the covers on yet we're just gonna throw the battery in and we're gonna go get Mel and she's gonna ride it for you guys. All right, Mel, you ready? Yeah. So I think it might be a little bit faster, but I'm not sure. So go ahead and sit down. Is it on? No, it's not on. Oh yeah. It's faster, right? I think so. Yeah, it throws you back. Look, press it. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's way faster? Yeah, I think it is faster. Play right here in the concrete, right here. Go fast. Go super fast. I think so. Go super fast. Go press it all the way. All the way. Go. Go. She lets off. You're not pressing it all the way, girl. There we go. Woohoo. All right, come right here again. Come right here again. And turn around. All right, stay there. Now go that way and do it all the way. Press it all the way. Yeah, it is for sure faster. Like definitely faster. All right, do it all the way. 
I think she's a little scared of it because I can see her foot and it's not all the way down. So I think yeah, she did it a couple times, but if you notice when she's like fast, fast, that's when it's all the way down. Here, come here, Mel. All right, you're gonna rip it all the way, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on, ready? Yeah. All right, press it all the way. See, she's zooming. So I think all I need to do is buy a charger and the charger port that comes off of the XLs. I can get away with buying just the charger port because we have two XLs here, so we have two chargers anyways. So I think for now, just to keep costs down, I'm just gonna buy the charging port. That way, if it dies, plug it in, we're good to go. We're just not gonna have a charger for the third cart, I guess. But, I mean, we don't charge them all at once anyways, so. I think we should be good. I'm gonna be doing some upgrades on it in another video, as well as installing the charger port because we finally fixed the issue, so we need to be charging it once it dies. So I don't wanna keep taking it off and throwing it in an XL and having it charged that way. So stay tuned for the mods and the charging port upgrade. But for now, this thing is ripping. Melanie says she's having a blast, so. I'm gonna hop on mine and we're gonna go ahead and play together. So this is gonna do it for this video, guys. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the future uploads. But that's gonna do it for this one. So as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.